major thrust of this presentation is to discuss on what is ascites. Ascites is a common finding to all those people who are into ultrasound imaging. It's one of the common findings that you come across. But what is ascites? Ascites is actually a collection of free fluid in the abdominal cavity. Collection of free fluid in different body cavities has got different names. When fluid collects in the scrotum, it's called hydrocell. When fluid collects in the kidneys, it's called hydronephrosis. When fluid collects in the thoracic cavity, it's called pleural effusion. When the fluid collects around the heart, it's called pericardial effusion. But in this particular case study, we are going to discuss on ascites, which is a fluid fluid in the abdominal cavity. Specifically, this accumulation was as a sequel to what is called dilated cardiomyopathy. Looking at this image, you can actually see that this is our uterus and then we do have got the broader ligaments which houses the fallopian tubes and the space that you are seeing here is anechoic free fluid also in this space we are seeing anechoic free fluid and then what you are seeing here that's our rectum so this is our rectum so as you can see our uterus here is floating in this free fluid again in longitudinal section you can actually see here is our uterus and then you can see this anechoic free fluid here and we have our bowels here what you are seeing here is our urinary bladder but you can see inside the uterus we are, we are seeing these internal echoes echo, echogenic particles internal echogenic particles this one in that one so basically these findings are suggestive of what is called osseous metaplasia. This is a sign of osseous metaplasia. However, the business of the day is to discuss on this collection of free fluid in the peritoneal space, in the abdominal cavity in particular. This is the pelvic region. Then we can call this pelvic ascites. So as you can see here, that's our pelvic ascites, that's our uterus, and you can see this type of calcification is actually measuring 0.3 centimeters in diameter, and this is what I said is consistent with osseous metaplasia, of which I'm going to discuss on that on a separate tutorial. So in transverse, you can actually see here is our or you trust then you can see the whole lot of free fluid here and we don't see significant flow on color doppler as you are seeing here again you can see from the measurements our uterus is actually of normal size however it's actually 40 in this ascites this pelvic ascites we are not seeing any mass that is suggestive of malignancy in the pelvic region be it in the ovaries and the uterus or the cervical canal so playing this you can actually see this is our uterus and it's floating in ascites so this you can see this fluid is more pronounced in the pelvic region so this is pelvic ascites again if we're using a different color map you can see our broader ligament then you can actually see our uterus and then we have got our rectum here and then the free fluid is actually visible here so you can see also our rectum is very much pronounced uh, because of ascites that is acting as our window there and the uterus is protruding somewhere there you can see nicely here is the rectum and then this is our ascites so as i said there are different causes of ascites of which in this particular case on ultrasound scan these are the echo findings so you can actually see that there there is a left ventricular 
a dilated cardiomyopathy here. Look at it again. You can actually see that uh, the left ventricle is not contracting as much as it should be. So the major ascension here was that this ascites could be as a sequel to dilated cardiomyopathy. Otherwise, the liver was within normal limits and there was no obvious malignancy that was noted. The kidneys also appeared perfectly within normal limits and intact. I thank you all. I hope you enjoy our videos. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share the link to our videos as well. Enjoy our free tutorials. More are coming. Thank you.